I, I don't know how people live with themselves or sleep at night. I don't understand how um, people don't treat animals as part of the family. And they're like children, you know, and, and they need all of the needs that, that we all do. Basic comforts, love, warmth, food. And I don't understand how people can just let, let animals get into the, the estate such as, as Ruby's. Eighteen months ago, after a tip-off from paramedics, the RSPCA rescued 49 animals from a property in South Wales who were kept in the most shocking conditions. The two RSPCA inspectors were there was saying it was, I mean, they've been inspectors for years and it was one of the most horrific cases they'd seen and the smell was just horrendous, absolutely horrendous. The majority in, in cages, um, one was even in a, a hamster pet cage, and they all had like the hamster feeding bottles attached. There, there wasn't any room in the crate to move around. There was no bedding or puppy pads or anything in any of the crates. There was um, just so much feces on the floor and, and everywhere. I was told that it was quite horrific a lot of mad ear problems, feces encrusted, so much fur, fur was overgrown, fleas. Oh, it was just, it was just horrendous and that would have been their lives. And one of those animals was Ruby. Her life was just in the crate. She was covered in feces and urine. She was so heavily matted. They didn't know what breed she was. They didn't know whether she was male or female, and she didn't have a name. It's hard to know how long Ruby had been in the crate. You know, her ears would have been hurting, her mouth would have been hurting, if she had fleas as well. You know, and just the weight of the fur and the smell of the fur and having to go to the toilet where she was would have just been horrendous for her. Like many of the animals rescued that day, Ruby's condition was so bad that she was taken to the vets where Jane works for treatment. She had to be sedated um, and she had to be cleaned everywhere. Um, and normally when they take off fur, they'll use the clippers, but at certain points of her, she was so bad they needed to use scalpels. Um, and they were really worried about her feet, which were so heavily bound with uh, matted fur. They feared that the feet might come off. When they finished taking all of the matted fur off of her, they put it in a bag for the RSPCA, but they weighed it first and it was a kilo, a kilo of feces encrusted, matted, stinky fur. I was horrified by what I saw in the photos. I, I can't comprehend how people can leave dogs in that situation. Just seeing her like that, I fell in love with the, the whatever she was. It was just, no, I, I wanna get this dog here, keep her warm, clean, fed. I just wanted to just keep hold of her. It was the next day I asked if I could adopt her. Despite her start in life, Ruby's recovered remarkably well from her surgery and now lives at her forever home with Jane. Life for Ruby now is so much better than it was before she was rescued. She is loved, she knows she's loved, she feels loved, she's clean and she's just She's just enjoying that freedom because she still, she has freedom now. On that day, over 40 dogs were rescued and they've now gone on to live happy lives in their forever homes, uh, being loved and looked after and they've got futures. Ruby is just one of them. Today, for the first time since being rescued, Ruby is being reunited with another dog saved from the same property, Winnie, 
who sadly lost her leg due to the injuries she suffered, but now lives in her forever home with Emily. First time I took her for a walk, she didn't, it was like she didn't know what to do. She stood there, it's like she didn't know, it's like, come, like you need to come with yeah. me, but she just, and she was just looking. And now you love a walk. Yeah, she does. She gets so excited. Well, this is funny because she's very relaxed. She really here. is. And she wouldn't sit next to another dog she doesn't really know. Really? Mm. So there might be she some kind really of recognition. Yeah. Now, neither of them look how they looked on the day they were seized. How are they so loving? I know. After everything so, that happened. They're so loving. But they give me so much back as I well. Know. Like, she makes me smile every day. Yeah, she's she so does. Funny. A man and a woman were given 15 weeks suspended sentences, 50 hours of unpaid work, 400 pound fines, and a ban from keeping animals for five years for the crimes against Ruby, Winnie, and the 47 other animals found that day. I mean, I dread to think what would have happened to them if they'd have yeah. still been there. Yeah, she's got the best life now. Yeah. And I just hope all of the other dogs are yeah. living the same, living the same happy life. The love that she shows me just makes me smile. She means so much. Since filming, Jane and Emily have done a DNA test on Ruby and Winnie, and the news is they're sisters and continue to meet up on regular dog walks, now free and happy in their forever homes. If you want to support other dogs like Ruby and Winnie, check out the links in the description or contact your local animal rescue centre to see what you can do to help.